It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, we are continuing on this week with a guest DJ day. I am excited to bring to you some music that I am largely unfamiliar with. And it comes to us from our friend Marcos, who is our featured guest DJ today. Thank you, Marcos, for bringing to us some music by a Brazilian composer and guitarist, Yamandu Costa. Uh, he was born in 1980, and we're going to be hearing three uh, short selections from Yamandu. Uh, he grew up in uh, southern Brazil and was exposed to uh, the traditional and regional music of what is referred to as the Southern Cone, and that includes portions of Argentina, Paraguay, uh, Chile, and southern Brazil. And his unique uh, style of music developed from some of these influences. Uh, including uh, some uh, famous uh, dance forms like the samba and the bossa nova and even to jazz. Uh, uh, given that, though, he composes in a relatively classical style, but he does not have training in writing and reading Western-style music notation. Uh, so his wife, Elodie, who is uh, also a musician and uh, she is a music professor, assists in uh, the notation and orchestration of his works. Uh, he performs uh, most often on a seven string guitar, acoustic guitar, uh, and is considered one of the greats on this type of instrument. I read up on this instrument a little bit. It made its way to Brazil uh, mainly from Russia and I think Portugal. And it's got this extra string that allows for really great flexibility in including some independent bass lines along with the uh, traditional guitar sounds that we are accustomed to hearing. So let's get to it, y'all. Uh, the first one that we're going to hear, the first tune, is called Lapa Hora Zero. And it's a more recent uh, composition from him. It's a samba that he composed while he was staying in Portugal. The title uh, means Lapa at Midnight or Zero Hour. And uh, Lapa is this uh, neighborhood, this Bohemian neighborhood in uh, Rio with an eclectic mix of uh, bars, pubs, uh, music houses, uh, that sort of thing, where all sorts of interesting people uh, gather and share stories and, uh, and get into all sorts of fun. Uh, so uh, to Yamandu, the place becomes a bit mysterious uh, the later we go in the night. So it gets mysterious later and later and later. And uh, this composition, as I read in, seeks to lift up this uh, mysterious quality in its sound. So let's see what this is all about. All of these are going to be first listens for me, y'all, and I am happy to bring these to the channel. Yamandu Costa with Lapa Hora Zero. Here we go. Sounds great. He's taking my breath away, y'all. That's in G. Except he changed from G minor to G major. Ooh. The synchromatic line. of modal borrowing in through this. Minor seventh chords become dominant seventh chords. Minor chords become major chords. He's moving a lot in the circle of fifths. Ooh. 
back into minor. Still in G. circle of fifth action. instrument that you're able to do it makes the music sound so much more full and alive. And that extra string gets you some excellent bass notes. It's like I'm hearing a bass and a guitar at the same time. G major again. Major four chord, minor four chord. Back to G minor. Interesting. So I think he ended in G minor, but he gave us a G like dominant seventh chord at the end and then gave us an added C sharp. I heard that as a sharp four above, above that root. What an interesting piece of music that is. I think that it was in relatively a binary form. We heard uh, this opening in G minor and it went to like G major and, and then it switched back. And we, I heard some of both sections again. Uh, pretty sure. Fascinating. On we go, though, y'all. The next one that Marcos has sent in to us is called Samba Pro Rafa. And this one was written to pay homage to Rafael Rabello, one of Yamandu's influences. So uh, Rafael uh, often employed some polymeters and uh, poly rhythms in his music. And uh, as I have read in, Yamandu is going to use some similar techniques in what is described as an intricate and melodic samba. So let's see what this one is about. Samba Pro Rafa from Yamandu Costa. Here we go. Same key. My major one chord, minor four, over a tonic, uh, sustaining bass note there. Lovely. And some of the same borrowing using chords from both. That was amazing. Chords from both G major and G minor. Dude's amazing, y'all. So clean. The voicings are so lovely. Four chord. Two. Six. Two. It's 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 a riff on the circle of fifths. He's got like a six two five one in there, but he's using some sevenths and uh, altered voicings.
Taurus, what is the thing that's moving uh, diagonally across the fretboard? I'd be curious as to what that is and how it affects the playing. some of these bass lines. that I can play. Wow. Absolutely incredible. 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 Lovely, lovely stuff. That was Samba Pro Rafa. And uh, the next one, the last one that Marcos has uh, sent to me is called Carinho. And this one, uh, the title simply means kindness or uh, tenderness. And he apparently was in the midst of writing a uh, concerto. And he was uh, looking for a section or wanted to uh, write a section that was going to be calm or slower uh, for uh, inclusion in this uh, overall concerto. And this uh, tune was one of three. Uh, little pieces that he uh, wrote for possible inclusion in that concerto. He ended up putting the other two in, but this one uh, was left out, but it has become a lovely standalone piece for uh, Yamandu. So let's take a look at Karinho from Yamandu Costa. Here we go. Up a step. A. That's a low A for an acoustic guitar. I'm not used to hearing that. these chromatic 
chromatic alterations as we just kind of stroll through the circle of fifths. It's a lovely garden to stroll through, y'all. In fact, I can imagine at the end of a long day having a nice cocktail while listening to some of this music. Really wonderful. experience really I mean uh, this is one of the things that I love so much about uh, uh, the community that we have kind of uh, fostered and, and that has grown up here uh, on the daily Doug uh, for this past you know year and a half uh, we've made such great friends and Marcos is a wonderful friend and uh, this is music that I wouldn't have known to even look for without uh, the recommendations uh, of these friends and the personal relationships to trust these people uh, with, uh, you know, and they have our best interests in, <laughs> in, in mind. And like, you've got to listen to this. This is wonderful stuff. And it's a way to share uh, culture and music from around the world. And it really, really enthuses me and it just makes me happy. And uh, I, can't, I just can't get over how beautiful that music is, y'all. Just some lovely acoustic guitar on a Wednesday. And I am very thankful to have listened to it with all of you. So thank you for hanging out with me today. Thank you uh, to Marcos for being our guest DJ today. Great selections. I really enjoyed them. And we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.